The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. To run a fleet of tugs, you have to be prepared to take on any job. One of the most difficult and dangerous was handling the big naval munition ships. On this day, I remember Hercules had towed the naval tramper Krakatoa in from the base up the coast. Usually a familiar and safe routine. But it had been a rough journey, real rough. And as if that wasn't enough, he had to suffer Blue Nose, the officious naval tug. Attention! Attention! Hercules! Attention, nothing. I'm finished here, old darling. Moving out. Uh, no, you don't. Not allowed to check things out. Check all you like, sweetheart. I'm needed elsewhere. You're under Navy jurisdiction. Obey orders and wait to let me make my inspection. I am under jurisdiction. Captain Stars, a little wake washer like you, doesn't tell me what to do. Uh -huh. We'll see about that, lady. Hercules, here, wait. Stay right where you are. There is an order. Hello. <sighs> Upstart civilian. I'll get you in a naval convoy one day and I'll teach you a lesson or two. And then you'll know what orders are all about. Yuck, that blue nose. He's orders mad. Orders come before common sense in naval terms. Uh, I better Barney with him too, Hercules. Keep those boys in line, he shouts. As if I haven't done this job every naval exercise. Report to me when you're finished, he says. Thinks I'm too old for this work, he does. Hey, hey, do you know what they're doing? They're loading munitions and taking fuel aboard the same ship. <laughs> Dangerous seamanship, that is. Well, old Jamie, dear, I'm going to have me a bit of a rest at the coal depot. It's been a hard tone. I feel a bit low. Yeah, oh, oh. Keep them in line. Straight as a row of marines. I'll check them after I've done my inspection. We should work together, not fight each other. Never fought when I was a young tug. Ahoy now! Ahoy now! You! Oi! You! Red thing! Collect some fire bodies and proceed to the fire practice area now! I'm standing by, waiting for orders to proceed to the old dock. And those orders are cancelled, and I'm in charge. Fire practice now. And I don't leave it till I tell you. Do I make myself clear? And now move, faster they flame, faster they flame! Aye, aye, sir. Right, Starfleet, we're on servicing naval manoeuvres again. OJ's laying marker boys in the old dock area. Remember, no shortcuts. Use the official entry. You all know the Navy. Don't grumble, it's a good regular contract. Just get on with it. Your loads are munitions. You're lucky. Z-Stacks fleet have got the explosives. <laughs> so give them a wide berth. Make myself clear, warrior, no high wakes. I don't make high wakes, Captain Star. No, oh, sir. Not much. Daily garbage detail for you. Oh, this means we'll have blue nose faffing around us. I can't stand that tug. What a terrible bore he is with his orders, isn't he? You do the garbage detail, then. <laughs> Me? How can you suggest such a thing? Let's talk from you, Top Hat, or you will find yourself on garbage. <laughs> <laughs> that is not funny. It would ruin my image. Okay, crew, stow it. Top Hat. Yeah. Car floats for you, and don't argue, just go. Do I have to earn a living with this motley crew? Right. Captain Star, we've just about had enough of Top Hat's insults. Right. He's more trouble than he's worth. Aye. And you said that wasn't very much, didn't you, Ten Cents, eh? <laughs> I said, do it. Ten Cents, go to Lucky's, pick up the brand new Starline oil barge, get it filled and take it to the naval yard. Right, sir. Well said, Ten Cents. He's a pain in the funnel. <laughs> the way he moves his head about, I'd say he's a pain in the neck. <laughs> That's right. Sunshine, go to the canal, pick up Mighty Mo. They finished the work on the bridge. Take him home. All right, aye. Good. I like Mighty Mo. Big Mac, 
Thanks for winning us the steel contract. That's okay, sir. You pick up the last girder barge, then back here. The Z stacks were upriver at the munitions factory. They were there to collect explosives for the Navy. It was a very dangerous operation, but worth a great deal of money to Captain Zero, who had put Zoran in charge. Now listen, you two. Towing this lot's the tricky bit. Zack, move off first. Right. Go slow and don't take any nonsense from the star mob. Show them explosives don't scare us. If they come too close, just... Blow them up! Yeah, but with your hooter, dummy. No silly games, okay? You don't have to be that brave. Okay, Zorin. Sir. And watch out for the naval twerp, Blue Nose. Your job is to deliver that barge directly to the naval tramp of Krakatoa. If Blue Nose gives you different orders, ignore him and refer him to me. Just keep it steady. Keep flying that danger flag. Zebedee, next. That Blue Nose told me he was in charge and that I must obey orders. You are mine, remember that. Well, remember that, Zoran, sir. Eat your heart out, Star Stacks. This trip's worth 20 garbage barges, ferry trips, or girder toes. <laughs> if we don't get blown up. Right. Easy does it. You're in my way and you're idle. Hey, don't make like idle tugs. So move and move fast. That is an order. Oi! Oi! Oh, you naval twit. You scraped a brand new barge deliberately. I gave an order to move out of my way. This harbour is the most undisciplined I've ever walked in. If I order you to jump, you jump. That barge is conscripted for a naval purpose. And if I want to scrape it, I will. I'll scrape you too if you don't get to your post on time. I'm always on time, and you know it. Uh, you'd better be, or I'll have you clapped in dry dock. It's about time you fancy stars started living up to your name. Now, get some steam in your boiler and start turning your screw. Mobilisation, that is what I want. Mobilisation! Oi! Oi, you, come back here! Oi, you just scraped it again! Oi! Z-Stacks are bad enough, but Bluno, oh, he's something else. Night came down fast. Dock lights helped Big Mickey transfer explosives to the naval tramper Krakatoa. The Z-Stacks were moored off. All were shot of their dangerous loads except Zoran, now being unloaded. One last-minute slip-up could mean disaster. I'll be glad to get rid of this lot. Attention! Attention! Oh no, here we go. Hey, come alongside! Move aside! You with a circle on your funnel, move! Ain't what mean me, mister, do you? Yeah, you, mister. Move that barge. My load's fast. You shouldn't move a barge that's being unloaded. Get pension off, old timer. This is my pool, eh? See what goes? Nah. Go and draw your pension, OJ, you bastard. <laughs> Shut it, the paddler's right. We're not moving that barge, mister. I want this fuel unloaded now. Wait, you, Gorky, drop your rook into this baby. Hey, leave the munitions right now. Uh, it's a brave tug all this assault crane around. <laughs> yeah, nobody tells Big Mickey what to do. Well, I do, and I'm in charge, so obey orders. Yeah, what's going on? Schedule says I'm next. Uh, don't you start, laddie. Wait, your turn. Watch him. Yeah, I'm coming alongside. This barge has to be unloaded. I've got orders too. Whose orders? Captain Starr's orders. I'm coming alongside. Ha <laughs> ha, we'll see about that. Now, just move aside and let me through. Bruno, stay back. That barge is unsafe. Do not give me orders. If I want to move, I move. He told you to move that. Now, look what's happened there, you dummies. Oh, no. Start engines, quick. I'm in charge. Stay where you are. No way. I know what's on that barge. Get clear. The whole thing's going to blow. Stay where you are. Emergency, emergency. Clear the area immediately. They still ain't obey order. Move out, move out. Save yourselves. Ten cents. Cut your barge rope and pull free. My barge is clear, but Bruno's is blocking the way. I know what to do. Stay still and do pity. Oh, come on, Bruno's. Cast off. Let's get out of here. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Hey, call! Try harder! Go on! My engine's cut out! OJ! Okay. His engine's out! I'm going into hell! Don't be a fool, Ten Cents! Get out of there! He's right! Move! He's got himself into this! Leave him! It's too dangerous, Ten Cents! You're coming with me, Blue Nose! Keep going, Ten Cents! 
King Gallic! The temple's on fire! It'll blow any second! Do you move me? They've got me, me orders and they ought to say they have looting fuel out. You can load all you want after I'll get you out of here. Hey, OJ, what shall I do with him? Put him at the back. Out the way, we don't want any more of his orders. Why? This is a mutiny. Take me back immediately. Obey orders. Obey orders. Orders is orders. <laughs> It's going over! There we are! I'm Jim Clear! Just hope Mickey gets it right, otherwise he'll sink us all. Big Mickey! Oh, he's done it. He's falling sideways. Too close for comfort. It took real skill to make that move. He saved us all for sure. But the fire's getting out of control. Yeah, they were the siren for sure. The fire tug will reach us any minute. Just wish it were here now. Fire tug won't be much good. Look at that trapper! Someone's having a dockside celebration. No, no. If there was a party, I would have been invited. Perhaps they don't need a long-necked highbrow. <laughs> <laughs> Very droll. Certainly wouldn't want low lives like you there. I suppose that. Emergency! Emergency! Get them tied off and follow on top, Ed. Might need all hands. Yeah, follow on top, Hut. Fire at your dock. I'd love to join you, but these two are in a right state. Always our fault, eh, Frank? Never is, I eh, Eddie? He could take us along. Not to see a fire. The only fire you are going to see, I can tell you this for a fact, is the one I will set under your tracks if you don't get a move on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> The after orders blown out, a fire will really spread. I feel so helpless. God, they were really big explosions. There's more to come yet. <laughs> Just you wait. She was nearly fully loaded before that naval twit arrived. What's on board will rip her apart. Isn't there anything we can do? Like what, dummy? Anyway, you've done your bit. Just sit back and watch. But it's spreading. And that means puff at the dockside will go up. You're right, ten cents. Come on, everyone. Shout and warn Puffer. Go on, 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 Petros caught fire! And that tank's fully loaded. I must try and get it out to sea. Don't do it! Stay back! If that blows, it'll take you with it! What's that? What's what? That! Yes, guys, be careful. It's a red sky, red sky at night, sailor's delight. The sun went down ages ago. And it's north, not west. Fire! <laughs> It's really hot. Uh, there's no chance getting a line on it. What does he think he's doing? Don't know, but rather him than me. <laughs> better push it. I've got to get it out to sea. Oh, uh -huh. it's about time you turned up. Give ten cents a hand, he's burning up. Get that thing out of here, quick. What do you think I was doing? I'm not here to keep warm, you know. You not stay back. <laughs> I wasn't thinking of moving anyway, mister. Who's responsible for this then? Him. Behind me, Blue Nose. Oh, him. Him who gives all the orders. Well, he won't be giving any more now. He's in shock. Sunshine, get the fire barge and start dousing that building. It's going to blow any second. Not me weird, sir. We've got to try and stop the fire from spreading. 
I'm taking this out to sea, sunshine. Take care. What's those flames back there? Hey, what you've got there looks far more dangerous than me. I'll have to touch a bomb, man. Just leave it, will you? I'll leave be okay. Cut the chat. Sunshine, get that barge working. Steer it between the flames and it's swinging round. Yes, yes. Fire, fire. Just in time, warrior. Use your fire hose on that barge and the oil yard. Quick! Listen, yes, right away, sir. What do me best, huh? <laughs> now, there's two things wrong with that order, mister. Warrior don't move fast. His lights may be on, but there's no one there. <laughs> At least he's in there, Soren. Hey, the building's on fire now! Oh, I, I can't seem to stop it! It's full. Just keep playing water on it, sunshine! Stop the spring! Stop the spring! Warrior! Get out of there! It's gonna blow! I can control it, so don't worry! Well... I've got to look after Papa. He's a mighty valuable and good friend. Got to look after your friends, you know. OK, warrior. Here, Zoran, give me a hand with this fire barge. We've got to try and save that trapper. <laughs> Can't see this barge doing much good, mister. <laughs> but you're in charge. Go on, Zoran. Show him who's a real hero. Oh, this is getting too dangerous. <laughs> the tank's blistering badly. I'm not starting to smoke. It's going to go any second. I've got to get out of here. Ten cents. It's ten cents. The oil barge. I must have... Stay put, sunshine. You're needed here. But he might need help. Stay where you are. Move up, Soren. She's going to kill over any moment now. There's nothing more we can do. Stand clear, everyone. Stand clear. She's going. Yeah, that's nothing compared with what could have happened. If Sunshine and Warrior hadn't contained the fire, it could have easily spread to the city. Well done, all of you. Oh dear. Seems I'm too late to save the day. What a pity. <laughs> well, well, well. Get a drift of that, will you, lads? Top hat, all dressed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> yeah, you look very nice. <laughs> Ten cents should have been back by now. We must all salute a very brave Tom, who saved us from... Hey, I know that whistle! It's... It's Ten Cents! Ten Cents, what a mess! What happened? Well, just after I started reversing, it blew to smithereens. Nearly took me with it. Lights went out, water in the engine. I didn't know if I could make it back, but thanks to Grandpa's, I did. Yeah, you're the luckiest tug around, lad. And probably the bravest, too. Well, I've been used for a few strange jobs before, but never have I brought in a switcher and taken away a twitcher. <laughs> the accident was caused by a few hasty words and bad temper. Orders may be orders, but they don't supersede common sense. Blue Nose was right in his way, as were Ten Cents and O.J. right in theirs. But common sense from all three would have prevented the fire starting. Always respect fire. If you don't, it will destroy you, your surroundings, and your friends. <laughs>